Welcome to the World Telecommunication Development Conference here in Kigali, Rwanda, and we're in the ITU studio here. And I've got the great pleasure today of being joined by Thomas Volmer, who is a Global Head of Content Delivery Policy for Netflix. Thomas, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Max, for having me. Now, I'd like to uh, get straight into it. We have just had two and a half days of uh, Partner to Connect sessions, global round tables. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about uh, being involved in those, and then maybe tell, tell us a little bit about the, the, the pledge that you made this morning. Sure, yeah, we announced our pledge uh, this morning in uh, the first session of the day. What a great way to start the day. Uh, the theme of uh, of, the, of this, this year's conference is connecting the unconnected. Uh, I think the ITU evaluates uh, almost 3 billion uh, people on the planet still uh, not connected. Obviously, connecting the unconnected is a, is a huge task, a huge objective that no organization can, uh, can achieve by itself. Uh, so we came here and joined the coalition uh, to contribute. Uh, we, we're an entertainment company. Uh, we uh, believe great stories can come from anywhere and uh, be uh, enjoyed everywhere uh, and so we rely on an open internet to, uh, to, uh, to, to, for, for, for our members to enjoy our stories. Uh, our pledge is about that, about contributing to that open internet. Um, we, will, uh, we have pledged to partner with internet exchange points, with data center providers in unconnected communities uh, to deploy caching servers, uh, servers that host uh, the um, and s store and, and deliver the Netflix content. Um, and so to give you an example, if you're uh, sitting in your room today or later tonight in Kigali uh, and you want to download the latest uh, season of Stranger Things, uh, the, the stream will actually come from Kigali, from a server locally deployed as part of our um, Open Connect program. So we pledge to do more of this in those uh, underdeveloped communities. We think it's going to help drive uh, demand for and then the adoption uh, of broadband. Uh, it helps reduce costs for ISPs who don't need to build uh, as much network capacity and in the end it just contributes to this uh, uh, chain of essential um, ICT infrastructure. So better for Netflix and, and better for the world? And for, the, for our members uh, who enjoy better consumer, uh, better experience, right? No buffering, you're in the middle of your, of your movie, you don't want it to stop. Um, and then also better for, 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 for our partners who, who build the networks, right? Uh, internet uh, service providers. What about local content? Uh, are you making efforts to uh, uh, get content here that, uh, that appeals to, to the, the audiences here? We try to get uh, great stories come from uh, anywhere uh, and so, well, literally everywhere. I think up to, up to recently, uh, our most successful show uh, was from Asia, Squid Game, a massive success. We've invested in content in Africa as well, Blood Sisters from Kenya, uh, and, then a pa and then recently a very fun uh, and uplifting uh, Pan-African reality show uh, called Young Famous in Africa, and I really encourage you checking it out. And getting back to your pledge, I mean, how, um, how challenging do you think it will be to achieve that? I think it's about a, a chain, uh, an entire chain clicking together, right? Uh, obviously, no, no single organization can, can, can connect the unconnected. Uh, so it's really about uh, all those pieces of infrastructure, the ISPs, the content, uh, the data centers, the exchange points coming together and cooperating uh, uh, in making it happen. And in principle, a, a timeline, would you, would you see some, uh, some kind of uh, reasonable timeline for this? We're targeting uh, over 100 million people uh, that would get access to a content stream locally. We, we expect to achieve in those communities over 80% of our streams uh, locally. Um, we aim for, for the next WTDC in four years, hopefully. So this is, I mean, this is a massive investment, so you're obviously taking it very seriously. Right, right, right. And, and I would say beyond the investment is really the impact we hope uh, it will have. Uh, so we've been building Open Connect, our, our, our network of servers for, for the past 10 years. Um, it's a, over a billion dollar investment for Netflix. Uh, and, and the value it provides to our ISP partners is, uh, is commensurate. Uh, we think our latest estimates um, are that it saves ISPs around the world over $1.2 billion every year. 
He talks about uh, stories uh, coming from all around the world, and of course, you know, you've got plenty on uh, on Netflix. I'm just wondering if there's anything that you might w want to share with us while we're here in the studio about the future of Netflix and about uh, about how you you, you see uh, the evolution of it. Look, Netflix is uh, is, a, is dedicated to its goal, uh, entertaining the world. Uh, for us, it's about making great content, great shows, great movies that uh, people enjoy. You know, we compete hard for those moments where. Uh, the, we call them moments of joy where people choose to spend their free time with the service. Uh, so we're going to double down on that. Uh, great content, great uh, member experience. Um, and, and we think uh, our pledge, uh, Open Connect, actually contributes to that. And in principle, I'm just, just um, I'm looking at thinking, thinking about also affordability here in, in the region. Do you uh, see that as a, as, as a challenge or would you, would you be offering uh, um, a certain uh, kinds of incentives perhaps uh, in terms of membership or that kind of thing? I'm not holding you to it, but I'm just, just wondering if that, those would be the kind of things that, uh, that might be crossing your mind. I mean, definitely. Uh, we, as I said, it's, it's, it's this entire chain of clicking together. Uh, the content, of course, needs to be appealing uh, to the uh, members so that they, they, they choose to subscribe or, or enjoy. But, but at a more basic level, right, it's about the affordability of the phone. Can you have a, a smartphone or, or, or a TV or smart TV? Is your home uh, connected? Uh, is the network available? Is the backbone, the long distance? Are you in a landlocked community? So. So it's really about that entire chain. Uh, affordability is, uh, is, is definitely the, n the number one, well, one of the main challenges uh, for, for connecting the unconnected. Uh, so, 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 so we think our, our pledge yeah, contributes to that. So by bolstering this up, essentially, by bolstering up the entertainment on the entertainment front, essentially, you could essentially be contributing to a much healthier infrastructure around the region. You create demand. People want to get online to have access to the services that they love. That demand fuels investment, which in turn, in turn fuels uh, affordability. Okay, well, Thomas, I really look forward to hopefully catching up with you again soon, maybe earlier than the next uh, WTDC, perhaps at another ITU event. Um, and uh, thank you very much for sharing uh, this with us. And, and we, we, we very much uh, hope uh, to see it to come to fruition in the very near future. Thank you, Max. It's great to be here. Thank you.